Right, so and what is the number one sort of concern that uh, people have when it comes to safety at the moment? I, I think, um, it's, it's so I, I might give you a slightly um, an interesting answer maybe in that front. I don't think necessarily it's about drones flying in, in, into buildings per se. I think that technology is, is, is already proven that they won't. It's more about safety of privacy. Right, I see, so, okay. you know, when people walk in urban environments, are they going to feel like they're going to be watched all the time? Right, right. Is it about noise interference? Okay. Is it about drones flying in their backyard mm. or around hotels? Mm. So it's that kind of, you know, invasion of, of, of privacy that is the oh, main right, concern. Okay. So public engagement is extremely important. Earlier I spoke about taking the regulator along with us, mm. but it's equally as important that we take the public, the general public with us. Of course, yes, that's right. That's why these events are so important. That's why what you do is so mm. important, because people can listen to us, they can educate themselves, mm. they can come to events like this here in, in Singapore, Drones Asia. And we have to tell them, well, this is not going to interfere with your private life. This mm -hmm. is not a safety or security risk. In fact, this is going to enhance your day-to-day -day life from when you wake up in the morning, when you go to bed at night. Mm. This technology should make your life just a, an easier, more pleasant way to, to go about your, your daily routine. So talking about education and raising awareness right, for the public, right? And I think um, when uh, most of the audience will think, ah, right, when we hear about Aviation 2.0, it's about air taxis, right? Um, so tell us, what, what do you think is the public's awareness about what Aviation 2.0 means and what is, you know, when air taxi is going to happen and all these uh, privacy sort of concerns. Where, where's the public's awareness? Are we at the infancy stage or it's again still a, very, a lot of work to do? Uh, well, it's again, it's a very good question. So when you look at this technology, it, most of the attention goes to air taxis. Because I don't know if you remember this series in the 1960s, the Jetsons, which was all about this cartoon series of people mm. flying in, in air taxis from That's right, yeah. back. This is like yeah. 60 years ago, right? People already talking about it. So it resonates with the public. It, you see the movies and science fiction music, so, uh, science fiction movies. So people are really intrigued. Ultimately, though, what people don't see, and I'll come back to the air taxis in a second, is that this technology, which is maybe less visible is out there um, doing surveillance in a maritime environment making mm. sure that people don't drown maybe refugees who are trying to get to shore that doesn't get all the headlines all no, the time it, doesn't, no. it is the air taxis it is right not quite glamorous <laughs> exactly exactly so again the education piece is important now in in my opinion or our opinion air taxis are under development they're still mm. very much in the design phase in the proof of concept phase um, some of the, the large OEMs are, are actively involved in developing air taxis. It will come. I think it will be a phased approach um, by some. Some organizations want to go completely uncrewed. Some companies want to go maybe with one pilot. I think initially the use case is going to be in cities like, like Singapore, but also cities like Dubai, maybe flying from, from the airport to the Burj mm. Khalifa. Uh, and it, but it has to be a phased approach. We call that a controlled entry into service. Oh, of course, yes. And we have to, again, prove the technology and make sure that people feel safe and comfortable. Oh, of course, yeah. Stepping on an aircraft with no pilot on board is going to be a whole new right, environment. Right, exactly, right, exactly, yeah, right. So, so it is coming. And like I said, it's getting all the bright, shiny lights. Uh, it's very exciting, of course. Um, ultimately, it's what they call you know, a, a game changer probably about five, six years away before you're going to see it in any great, great numbers being deployed. Five, in, six in, years, that's not too long. Which is not too long, no, absolutely. So it's before you know it, in, in five years when you come to this show again, you know, we'll have air taxis you taking and you from I will, your hotel to the You conference. and I will be sharing an air taxi together, <laughs> for sure. It'll be fun. Absolutely. Right. So on that note, thank you.